you know things ain't always sweet when you out here in these streets. But my morph when it morph, I made a fake one. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy, Bros, Dan Brosnan, in the building. Happy Friday and welcome to the show. We are so excited to have this discussion and episode for you guys today. We are going to be talking about Power Rangers Dino Fury Season 2, Episode 12. These are fan theories, predictions, things that we think we could get in this episode. Now, you know what it is here at the fan club. We're always trying to think of the next new idea and what's going to happen on this show. And we're on a little bit of a hiatus right now. We just got a full half of a season, guys. 11 episodes. And now, episode 12 is the closest thing we're going to get. We probably won't get this at least for a few months at the earliest, maybe three months. But honestly, this season, like... The second half might not come out till maybe fall or winter, but I thought we'd talk about episode 12, make some predictions on what we think could happen, some things that are on the fence, and then I have some predictions and fan theories from you guys about the second half of the season so if you guys have any more fan theories predictions put them in the comments and when we talk about episode 12 again we'll throw that in baby you know what it is you guys are the reason why we do it i actually had to take just a little bit of time off uh so Yesterday, I wasn't feeling the best, got zero production. Then my daughter this morning, she wasn't feeling good either. So I was hanging out with her, but now I got a little bit of time. We're going to pump out some videos. And today we're going to talk about our season 12 predictions, official fan club business, guys. I need to know your predictions down low. Let's get into the video. So season one was really good, but this season two so far is excellent for dino fury i'm in love with it we do have some things that we are getting off our chest and it's 11 episodes is all we have left guys for dino fury meaning we have to get some resolutions in a lot of different situations so first off Tarek santora what's going on with them i believe you, when we get into episode 12 it's just going to be all about that action between void king void queen all that fun stuff right well this is something that i'm i'm really looking forward to and i love the way that they have built up void knight aka void king how do they turn these two back into good now I don't know in episode 12 if we're not going to get a full resolution between these characters, but just keep learning about these guys. They're going to be tough. Now, they're going to figure out a way to get Void Knight good again. I guarantee you by the end of the show, Void King is no more and Void Knight is helping them again, um, especially because we got that bronze armor, right? So there, there's a good chance that these next few episodes void king is still bad but then that he always shows signs they're gonna heal this guy is it the morphin masters there's a lot of questions um but then we move on to amelia now we know that her parents are missing do we find more out about in this episode we're not for sure yet, but we know episode 12 could be like a filler episode with some good plot points, background stories, or it could get right into the action because you don't have many episodes left. The second half is really going to have to build up. Um, the other thing is, you know, with Amelia, who are her parents and how do they work that in there? I think that, you know, since you only have 11 episodes left, every episode is key. To figuring out what's going on now rafcon is another big thing guys we love ourselves some rafcon and we want to figure out what's going on with that that's another plot point and they gotta they they have to figure out how to put back together that sound message there's like they got two pieces now they're looking for a third i think and when you play all three messages together it's going to be a real either location or message of a location there's some cryptic message that they're trying to figure out that could be a good plot point episode 
Another big question that I don't think we're going to get in episode 12, but we really need to know what's going on is where in the heck is Lord Zed? Now is he going to kind of show up in the end? Is there going to be a cool team up? I'm thinking there's going to be something fun with Lord Zed. I, I can't guarantee that you're going to get a full team up. I think there might be something cool for the fans with like some beast bots, steel maybe from um, Power Rangers Beast Morphers, General Shaw. Maybe they bring some cool weapons and some past Megazords to kind of make it up for us. But I don't think you get any Zed in episode 12. I just wanted to touch on that. But hey, if he comes out, that would be so much fun. I don't know the plot point. Like I said, this could be an episode where it's like a filler episode. However, this episode could be something that is is all about the action and the plot point and the story we don't know yet but that's why these episodes are so much fun and we get to hear from you guys speaking of you guys let's see what you guys have to say uh, what are your predictions and fan theories let's get into the comments so josh park says maybe we can get to see general shaw or see mick again or to find out what happened to Amelia's parents or who her parents are. Or maybe how, how's the second season of Power Ranger Dino Fury ended? I guess we'll have to wait and see like everyone else. Okay, so then we got Kylan's Furcus said there's a few things that they need to tie up. What happened to Rafcon? What happened to Amelia's parents? Even though Amelia's parents were only mentioned once, I feel like they need to clear up what actually happened to them. Instead of just leaving it at they mysteriously disappeared. Yeah, yeah, we don't want no Hey Arnold situation. Um, I agree, and, th and, and then they write, Obviously, everyone is thinking it's the Void duo, and I think that's where it will end up going. Especially now that Santora has established that they need revenge for what they have lost was taken away from them. Ooh, I love that. So maybe they think that their daughter is dead, but really their daughter is a Power Ranger? That's a very good point. I like that, Kai Lance. Uh, um, to follow up and finish it out, they said, I hope that Ali continues with his development. We already saw this in in the hunt but i would love to see it in another Ali focus episode and maybe so more plus Ali and amelia develop too because they are super cute yeah this is a cool little combination between Ali and amelia and Ali is developing i really liked Ali from the beginning because we don't get a lot of rangers that are just straight up dickheads like he was just an asshole and so many people hated him because he was just thought he was better than everybody. And it was true. Like, it, it, I mean, like he wasn't, but how do I say it? Like he literally thought he was better than everybody. It was true. Like in his head, he thought he was better and he was smarter than most people. But because he thought that way, he was like, he was limiting his capabilities of a person because he always thought he was right and he never wanted to hear anybody else out. And then a teacher told him, hey, bud, like you, you got to learn your lesson, bro. Like other people have good ideas, too. You're smart. You're bright. But when someone else says something good, don't just automatically dismiss it. Sometimes you have to like the smartest person in the room knows when to shut up and listen to other people and then we'll come in and we'll we'll tell you if what my opinion is or if we're wrong or your idea might be really good it just needs a minor tweak or sometimes people come in the room with the best ideas like oh my gosh that's amazing um so at the end of the day ali is admitting that he's kind of a dick he's trying to get better he's helping amelia now find ghosts and it was cool to see the development of a guy that like i've had so many friends like this but they've also changed like, they're good people at the end of the day they're just you don't want to mess with them and you always have that homie that's like like upfront and blunt that will tell you the way it is it's not like they always think they're better than everybody but it, it, it's kind of funny because i i related to that i was like i i can name two of my friends right now that kind of remind me of ollie and i laughed so hard because he just just such a smart ass and thought he's better than everybody and but really he needs his friends 
he needs his crew and he's been developing really really good lately i love ali Sh shout out kylans I, I really like that um then we got carrie i'm sure later in the second half of power rangers dino fury season two in the future episodes that Tarek will return to normal and become the bronze knight the good version of himself to help the rangers stop the evil void queen and queen sporix Araz. yes that could happen um there's a lot of questions about araz when does she come i i'm not against that at all and then we got is it kaya or kia said i like that void knight aka void king will become good and become the brown rangers and help the rangers uh we will find out that void queen and void king will be amelia's parents um ali's mom I think it's Dr. Akana will help the Rangers and become the Brown Ranger. I think it's the Bronze Knight for a couple of episodes. Well, you think Ollie's mom will become the Bronze Ranger? Br what? Okay, that that's crazy. Um, I never thought of it like that, but hey, all of these fan theories are just ideas. You could be right, you could be wrong. That's what a fan theory is. He says Dr. Akan is going to be the Bronze Knight or the Brown Ranger, whatever you... Uh -huh. That's very interesting. Okay. Um, so, it, I bet this is secondary because they, they first wrote that Void King will become the Brown Ranger. But, huh, that's, that's very interesting. If that happened, I'd be very confused, but I almost want to see it. Um, Black and Green Rangers will become evil and help Void Queen. Really? You got some really cool ideas. And then Sheriff Garcia, I think it's Warden, but that's cool. Sheriff sounds cooler. Sheriff Garcia will know know about the Green and Black Rangers identity and find out they're evil and help and Void Queen. Ooh. Very interesting. I don't know if any of this happens, but if any of this stuff does, this is these are some good ones. Kia or Kaya. It's spelled like Kia the car brand, but I don't know. It could be Kaya. I if I'm wrong, if I say your name wrong, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so then we got DJ Neves the fourth. My theory, Amelia is beside herself when she loses her bracket magnet and Ali helps her find it. She then tells him that is the only thing le uh, she has left of her birth parents after they went missing. The magnet bracelet is revealed to be made of a rare Ravconian metal, and a DNA test reveals that Amelia is from Ravcom, or at least her parents are, which also reveals that Pop Pop is not her biological grandpa. Void Knight recognizes the bracelet. The shock snaps him out of his brainwashing. He permanently changes back to Tarek and reveals that he and Santara Void Queen are birth parents who came to Earth years ago in order to find out what happened to the Lost Knights of Ravcon after the Sporex. However, they were captured, studied, and experimented on by Area 62 and their ship crash landed. What? A tragic accident led to their freedom, but Santara was fatally injured and their baby Amelia was presumed dead, not revealing that the Area 62 janitor Pop Pop saved and would raise her as her own granddaughter. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 DJ Neves, y'all just, this is great, like, dude, are you, this sounds so good. Like, I love this idea. So it's all got to do with that bracelet, kind of. And then, whoa, whoa, whoa. And Pop Pop's not her biological grandpa. Her, her, her parents actually, like, escaped, but they thought they lost their baby. And that's what was really taken from them. Woo! Oh, this is... The, that's a really good fan theory. Every once in a while... You guys come up with like the most ridiculous sounding fan theories that make the most sense and actually like you could see on TV. Like I was reading this, visualizing this and was like, oh, this is great. Absolutely love it. They crash landed in Earth. They were studied and captured and and they took their baby and they thought their baby was dead. But really, 
Amelia is their baby, and she's the Pink Ranger. Oh, I love it. I love it. And just the way that it was written together. Woo! Good job, DJ Neves. Then we got Sky. My best theory is that we will have Santara see Amelia unmorphed and tell her because a mother will always recognize her daughter. Then she tries to convince her to help destroy Earth. She says no. And then a mother versus daughter fight breaks out, and Santara ends up overpowering her. What? One of the rangers will teleport her out and she deals with a whole self-identity crisis before Zato or Ion tell her to ask Pop Pop. Pop Pop reveals that when he was working at Area 52, it, it started to collapse. He was a, um, she was a small child, Amelia, and grabbed her to save her. He didn't know if her parents survived. Asking would make her weird. Um, a weird kid who had crazy parents so he raised her instead and then amelia talks to her mom Ooh, i don't know that dude you guys are killing it with this area 62 stuff like i love it i still have so many comments left and we're gonna get to all of them but this is insane you guys probably came up with your best round of questions and comments and fan theories I've, I've seen in a long time so shout out the fans let's keep this going so we got robert we'll say robert v because i'm gonna kill your name it's like valenzuela or something um if i messed up your name dude i'm so sorry robert but i believe lord zed will return and invade grid battle force to look for his staff with scrozzle's help after he finds him in his jail cell and breaks him out Maybe they'll kidnap General Shaw too. Maybe even another villain like Vrak returns and teams up with Zed, only to betray later on for his own means. Ooh, I like that. It would be interesting to see what Vrak would do in the Dino Fury universe and how he would interact with everyone he comes into contact there. I like that. Bring back Vrak. Bring back Vrak. Ooh, take him to Chicago, call it Shy Vrak. <laughs> Hey, I love that, Robert. Thank you so much for that one. Let's keep it going. Um, we got John Win 11 says, Most likely Lord Zed will come out uh, the last two episodes of the season, which is going to be intense. But isn't there a movie going, or going with this as well from what I saw on the website? A movie? John Wynn, I'm going to need you to message the fan club and find out whatever you read. If it's a link, if it's something, you send that to me. I will I want to look that up. I never want to tell anybody they're wrong. Just send me the link so I can read about it. I'll make a video about it, man. There's going to be a Dino Fury movie? Now, I don't know about that. That sounds too good to be true. And if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. That's what Graham always told me. But hey, send me the link though. We'll we'll talk about it, John Win 11. All right, the Invasion Highlight Zorgo says they might need a new sword to take on Lord Zed. Ooh, I do like that. I think that goes back to like the whole point of they're gonna use some of old the old weapons. Maybe they'll They'll bring out some Mighty Morphin gear or something. That would be fun. Sonic Ranger says, I um, I bet there will be more solo morphs. We need Ollie and Javi to have them. Okay, I like that. Colin said, I think Lord Zed will come back and kidnap General Shaw. Ooh, I kind of like that. But, yeah, okay, so if they kidnap General Shaw and Javi, or no, no, not Javi, sorry. Ravi doesn't show up the blue beast more for that would be weird because that's like his mom right like how are you gonna kidnap the general and and like the son who's a blue ranger and a badass blue ranger by the way super strong he's not gonna pop up that would be like a giant hole in the in in the story like where is Ravi at that's his mama um but yeah, you could do that. I definitely say that, Cons. That's not a bad idea at all. But I feel like if you if you kidnap Bro's mom and don't have Ravi in there, that would just be weird as hell. But Steel's going to come or something. Ravi couldn't come, but he sent me. <laughs> Ortega Jack um, said, I need some more answers about the theory of Lord Zed to Dino Fury season and the other Void villains. The story timeline had some mystery then until now. They didn't show us the hidden Easter eggs. Yeah, we got some time left, man. Um, Sky says, did anyone notice how in episode 10 of the first season... 
phoning home, the music Solon played was re revealed to be Levi, aka Aiden, aka the, the gold ninja steel ranger. Oh yeah, that was cool. I loved that. That was, um, I don't know. And, and someone said, D does that mean he's coming back? I don't know. If, if, but it would be cool if we got Mick back again. Like I said, we could get a cool team up with whoever's in New Zealand that's willing to work on Power Rangers. We probably got those guys involved. I just don't know about a super team up. But I, I love these, man. Let's keep it going. Um, Matthew Alvarez said, I love your videos. They're awesome. And when will the second half of Power Rangers Dino Fury release? Hey, man, thank you so much for sending love to us. I don't know when it's going to release. I think I was talking about this in the beginning of the video. I I think it could it could come out probably, I believe, in the fall or the winter. So then we got Adam Antwood said, Lord Zed returns and teams up with Beast Morphers Rangers. Ooh, I would love that, man. It would be awesome. Um, but I just, I, I don't know if we're going to get all of the Beast Morphers back, even though that's what we really want. Um, Josh says, could it, could it release in the summer or the fall? I believe fall or winter, but maybe summer. If there's a demand for it, um, I just think you'd almost, did almost want to wait a little bit and get out your toys and get out that second half of toys. I don't know, but I do want to see what you guys think. There's not really a wrong answer there. Um, so Christian Ramirez says, when's the release date? Oh, yeah. Uh, I got like three people in a row asking, when are we getting episode 12? When is it coming out? Um, ooh, someone did say, though, Johnny Marrero said something cool. He, he said, could it come out August 28th, a.k.a. National Power Rangers Day? That's cool. Um yeah, the, there's just a bunch of people that are kind of asking about the, the the release date at this point. Okay, so Mackenzie Jackson said, I think Amelia will find out Tarek is her dad and Santara is her mom and she is brainwashed or hypnotized. I also think that Amelia is an alien, but she does not know. Oh yeah, that could be something. I love that. And there's a few Easter eggs to that too in the show. Just think little clues that could make her an alien, a Rafconian. Um, Byron Weaver said, I think Lord Zed will return and the Morphin Masters will help Tarek be freed from his Void King form and give Tarek the Bronze Knight armor. Ooh, I like that the Morphin Masters will help. Okay, in episode 7 series business, Santara, aka Void Queen, said, and as for our other project... Wreckmate says in response, it's going to be nasty. My theory is that she's building the Araz suit from uh, from the other Sentai. And I, I yeah, Araz is coming, man. Um, I don't know if she's going to be like the Sporex queen or whatever, but yes, she is kind of nasty. So that's a really good point, Byron. Uh, Mark said, make it Power Rangers, Siren Alliance versus Magnum Dino Fury episode, Path of the Dam, three-part story. Ooh, that'd be cool, too. I like that. Um, man, I, I, I love you guys. I think we got one more comment left. I highly, uh, highly likely will see more of Tarek, more of what happened to Ravcon, etc. The only thing I do not want from the second half of the season is... Um, Ali and Amelia to be a couple, even if they do, they're poorly developed. Ooh, really? I disagree there with you, buddy, but I honestly like Ali and Amelia as a couple. That would be cool to me. I mean, they kind of been building that up and opposites attract and now he's starting to help her and, and Amelia helped him see the wrong in his ways. He's always got to be a smart ass about everything. And like Amelia has been helping him. So I don't know. Um, I love this episode. It's probably one of the, the best episodes I've worked on in a while just to see all of your crazy ideas and comments. Now it's your turn to hit me up with more. Thank you guys so much for watching the fan club and we'll see you next time. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscription button, and also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? You want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. 
Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys.